Hello, hello, my friends. Here are the June tarot scopes for the earth signs. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Check your sun, moon, and rising. Okay, my lovely Taurus. So we're starting with you with the King of Wands. This is your card for June. So this tells me that June is a month of mastery for you because by the time you get to the King, Ooh, you know what's up. So you are now in a position of leadership. And the King of Wands is this well-earned, authentic leadership. So Taurus, this is a great month for anyone who is an entrepreneur, um, anyone in the creative field, so if that's music or acting or art of any kind. Uh, the King of Wands is like very independent. So whether that's in the creative sphere or business sphere, you're independent and very passionate about what you are doing. So all that hard work you've been putting into whatever it is you've been putting it into is really starting to bloom and blossom in June and people are paying attention. So this is a great month to step into that role of leadership. So that doesn't mean that you're literally like starting a group or something, but you are leading by example by allowing yourself to do what you love and to get it out there. The King of Wands is eager to share, enthusiastic enthusiastic and passionate. It's this juicy, yummy, magnetic energy. If you know you're around someone who's very excited about what they're doing, very enthusiastic, you, you can't help but to be like, hmm, what's, what's going on there? I'm into that. And that's you very, very much in June. So this is a great time to go ahead with those ideas. Do not hold back. I do get on the other side that while I do believe this is you, uh, for some of you watching this, this is a call to find your king of wands. So who's that person out there who's doing something that you want to do or in the field that you want to do? Look for that leader, teacher, guide, speaker, artist, blah, 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 that just you're like, oh, I love it. Learn from them, right? Um, gosh, you know, it's so important to learn from others. Like, of course, like it's the our inner wisdom that guides us, but our inner wisdom will guide us to the teachers, to the leaders, to the speakers, etc. that are really going to awaken this within us. I don't get the sense you're very far off. Like, I kind of feel like you're like right there being the king. But if you feel like you're a little stuck, or you're like, I'm not sure the next steps, do look for that person who's leading by example and whether you take a class with them or sign up for them to be a coach or email them looking for advice, like do reach out because there is another person like this who has juicy tips for you, who's really going to help you get to that next level. The other thing I feel I'm being reminded to share with you, Taurus, is like by the time you're a king, there might be haters, you know. Um, unfortunately, we still live in a world where if you're shining, some people might not like that and might try and tear you down. They just are really reminding you to straight spine, straight back. Don't let um, jealousy or smallness shake your crown. It's just going to happen. If you're interesting, if you're doing well, and if you're successful, unfortunately, uh, there are going to be people who, instead of reflecting on their own reasons for being triggered by your light, will try to attack the light. Um, but you're really being guided. Don't let that stop you from rising up. Because for every like wiener <laughs> who's um, not being very nice about it, there's going to be like 10, 20, 50, 100 people who are going to be so glad that you share what you share. So stepping into the role of leadership, sharing what you're passionate about, really getting excited and enthusiastic. So June could have a lot of vitality, a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm, and a lot of success. So don't hold back. Share it with the world. Okay, my lovely Virgo friends and placements, your message for June is a six of swords. And as a Virgo son myself, I can just say how welcome I sure, I'm sure i sure this is for so many Virgos. Virgos are sometimes thought to be like the air signs of the earth signs, which means we can really get in our head. Like we could get a master's in overthinking and overanalyzing in our sleep. So in, in June, the six of swords is like, nope. So six are about harmony, uh, which is really great. Also really neat that June is the sixth month and we got a six card here. So six might be a number, Virgo, that you want to look into. And um, 
And so this is air swords is like mental harmony. So like you are allowed to let things get easier. I think sometimes Virgos can really overcomplicate things and Virgos are often good at complicated issues. Sometimes when things get easy, Virgo might not trust it and be like, I can't be. <laughs> I just can't be. June, I get the sense that they're like, let it be easy. Let things smooth out you can trust it. There's a really strong uh, mercurial energy here. So the six of swords is Mercury in Aquarius. So Mercury being that figure who is like so fast moving, this communications, this learning, business ideas. So I do think for some Virgos, business, career, money is going to start to get smoother. So if you've had worries about that, June does bring some relief. Um, Mer uh, Mercury is also a psychopomp, so ushering souls to the beyond. So June also brings opportunities, Virgo, for connection to a lot of spiritual, um, of its ancestors, guides, people who have passed, whatever. So spiritual communication is also really highlighted for you in June and with more mental peace without so much overthinking or anxiety or overanalyzing or being too critical uh, you have the space to actually realize some of your psychic abilities and gifts so you know if you if you're tempted to overthink just think about that carrot <laughs> If I don't, if I don't give in to anxiety and overthinking and overcriticism, woo, I might actually have some fun with some spirit guides. I might receive some messages. I might really awaken my intuition. Uh, so that's something. And I think it'll happen quite quickly, Virgo, because Mercury is a fast moving energy. So that's something that's really coming through very strongly as well. Now, Virgo, you know, Virgo in the tarot is the hermit. And so sometimes Virgo can be a little bit of that lone wolf. Not all the time, but Virgo really cares about authenticity, being themselves. Virgo can be very energetically sensitive. So not always loving crowds or things like this. So you don't, don't worry. I'm not encouraging you to go into a crowd. <laughs> Virgo's nightmare. But um, but this is reminding you that like you don't have to do it all alone. So a let yourself receive help. Like if someone like offers to help you, the Virgo instinct might be to no, 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 I can do it myself. Let them help you. It feels good to be helped. That doesn't mean that you're going to allow yourself to receive without discernment. If you feel like someone wants to help you, but it's actually a manipulation, say no, right? Of course. But just if you feel like someone's like, hey, bud, like you want to go for a coffee today? Like I'll pick you up my treat. Just let them, you know, they might just want to do something nice for you. And Virgo loves to help. So would you like it if your help was always pushed away? No, you would not. So I also get the sense, Virgo, here that so one, let yourself receive help Two, you know, help others. But it's going to be so balanced. Virgo wants to always be of service. So sometimes Virgo really overgives. This tells me that no, that won't be happening in June. You'll have opportunities for this really lovely, peaceful energy of just like, you've got yourself, you can help yourself. People are there to help you, you help others, and it's smooth sailing. So Virgo, let it be easy in June, because if you do, it will. Okay, my wonderful Capricorn friends and placements, your message for June is the Four of Swords. And the phrase that I heard very strongly when I pulled this card for you was peace within leads to peace without. So Capricorn, you are associated with the skeleton, with the knees, with the structure of things. And four is structure, actually, in the tarot. Think about um, its stability. So if you think about like a table with four legs, nice and sturdy. That is one of your gifts. Squ uh, Capricorn can build structure. Corp Capricorn likes stability. Now where that sort of starts to merge into the shadow side is where stability and your ability to do it and create solid things that work and can last can sometimes roll over into being controlling. And so uh, the Four of Swords is like maybe in the past, you tried to create peace in your life by controlling all of these elements outside of you. So whether, you know, just being, you know, just be honest and, and humble, but kind to yourself. If maybe that was a little bit of trying to control others' behaviors or even what other people think and trying to be like, I'll, I'll have peace when this person behaves that way. More people think like this, la, 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 la. Um, and so this four of swords is like, nope. <laughs> 
Like, because if your mental peace is completely dependent on factors outside of yourself, you've basically just taken your inner peace and given it to all of these people and hoped for the best. So the way to really cultivate the peace that you're craving is just to focus on you. It's just to go within. So this Four of Swords, we can see it's this very lovely, peaceful card. So I think for you, my dear friends, Capricorns, a great way to embrace this energy, because if you do, um, June offers so much more peace, so much more rest, so much more mental harmony and ease. It's well worth it. <laughs> I think it's a well worth endeavor to experience this lovely peace that we're talking about. So the Four of Swords invites us for mindful rest and spiritual communication. So whatever that is for you, if it's meditation, and just remember with meditation, I mean, so many people are like, oh, I can't, I can't. Meditation is a skill that takes a long time to master. So even if you sit down for that meditation and you, whatever, if you put on background music or if you just want quiet, you just light that candle and you just sit, you know, focus on that third eye, some thoughts will come. But that's a part of it, right? Even people have been meditating for years and years and years still have those days where it's hard to quiet the mind. It doesn't mean you aren't doing any good. So it doesn't have to be perfect, right? The best way to get good at something is letting yourself be bad at something. So I do think this is a real call. I do actually think meditation is coming through very strongly for you. And there are so many different types of meditation practices and meditation teachers. Uh, there's so many free resources that you can find. Um, um, so this may be every morning you start your day, you wake up, glass of water, 10 minute meditation before you look at the phone, before you go about your day, before coffee, and then see how this feels over the month of June, right? So because it's a four in stability and you're good at building something that lasts, I do think that June is a really powerful month for you to build this peace practice that will last. So it's not something that you're going to sort of try in June. Like I think it's something that you will carry with you throughout the year. And actually June seems to be the like seed of far more peace throughout the rest of the year for you. And again, it doesn't have to be that. Like maybe you pull a card every morning and you journal about it. Maybe you do tapping. Maybe you switch it up. Maybe sometimes it's meditation, sometimes it's tapping. But this is the invitation to find those practices that bring you that inner peace. And then you're really going to start to notice the outer peace because of this. Okay, my friends so very much my wonderful earth sign placements for being here check the other videos for fire air and water placements to get a really nice idea of what to expect in june